Welcome to the final tutorial in our three-part series on the Lane Geometry Input Dialog in SIDRA Intersection 7. In this video, we'll demonstrate how to use this input dialog to specify lane configuration and lane disciplines in SIDRA Intersection 7 using a signalized intersection site. Note that the Lane Geometry Part 1, 2, and 3 tutorial videos on different intersection types can be viewed independently. For demonstration purposes, we will use the Signal Site Modified in the Intersection and Movement Definitions video tutorials. Open the latest project you saved that contains the site named Signals 2R. Rename the site as Signals 3R. Save the project. Click the Layout Command button in the ribbon to view the picture of the signalized intersection. If you have not gone through the steps described in the Intersection and Movement Definition dialog video tutorials, here is a summary of what has been demonstrated so far. We added an at-grade signalized intersection site to a new project. In the Intersection dialog, we modified several parameters. In the Movement Definitions dialog, we added buses as a new movement class and introduced a turn ban. It is very important that you use the Lane Geometry dialog to specify lane configuration and lane discipline data immediately after the Movement Definitions dialog. Click Lane Geometry in the Site Input section to open the dialog. Click the View Layout button at top right to view the layout picture to the right of the dialog. As you select Approaches and Lanes in this dialog, the selected lanes will be highlighted in the layout picture. You can view the updated layout picture as you make changes to the lane configuration. The first tab in the Lane Geometry dialog is the Lane Configuration tab. The Approach selector displays the diagram of the signalized intersection site configured in the intersection dialog. The Lane Editor displays the approach and exit lanes specific to the leg selected in the Approach selector. Approach and exit lane numbers are shown in the Lane Editor display. You can select an approach lane or an exit lane by clicking a lane using the F2 and Shift F2 keys or using the mouse wheel. You can configure the selected lane using the parameters in the Lane Configuration data group. Approach lanes, exit lanes, and strip islands can be added or deleted using the command buttons below the Lane Editor picture under both the Lane Configuration and Lane Disciplines tabs. Add and delete functions are also available when you right-click a lane or strip island in the Lane Editor picture under both tabs. Let's first create approach and exit lanes allocated to buses only on the east and west legs as a bus priority lane example. Select the west leg in the Lane Selector and Approach Lane 3 in the Lane Editor. From the drop-down list in the Lane Configuration field, select Two-Segment Lane. Note that when the selected lane configuration is a two-segment lane or short lane, additional sections will appear at the bottom of the dialog. Separate lane length parameters apply to short lanes and segmented lanes. Let's keep the segment lengths as they are in this example. Under Segment 2, the Upstream Segment section of the dialog, enter B in the Segment ID field and select a segment color of your choice. To create a bus priority exit lane on the east leg, select Exit Lane 2. In the ID field, enter the same ID and color used for the Approach Lane segment. Select the north leg, Approach Lane 3. Change the lane type to Slip Bypass High Angle. Now select the south leg. Delete the short approach lane and increase the front width of the strip island. The lane geometry specifications are not completed yet. 
If you click Apply or OK before allocating all origin destination OD movements to appropriate lanes, you will get a lane configuration error. Click Cancel to close the message box. The second tab in the Lane Geometry dialog is the Lane Disciplines tab. Click the tab to allocate all origin destination OD movements by movement class to appropriate lanes. You must allocate each movement class to at least one lane on any approach. Check the movements on the layout display as you allocate them to approach lanes. Select Approach Lane 3 of the west leg. To allow only buses to travel from west to east in Lane 3, uncheck the boxes next to Light and Heavy Vehicles under T1 and check the box next to Buses. To assign the upstream segment to buses, uncheck the boxes for Light and Heavy Vehicles in the Movement Class column under Segment 2 and check the box for Buses. By default, the Lane Editor displays OD movements by all movement classes on each lane. The drop-down list, Show Lane Disciplines By, helps to check lane disciplines when different classes are allocated to different lanes. The third tab in the Lane Geometry dialog is the Lane Data tab. This includes the approach lane data for all site types. When the site is a signalized intersection, as in this example, the Additional Signals group will appear. For detailed description of the parameters available under this tab, please refer to the user guide. When the Lane Geometry specifications are completed, click OK to close the dialog. Save the project. Clicking the Process button at this stage will give an error message. Other necessary data specifications must be completed in the remaining input dialogs before results are obtained. This concludes the final tutorial in this three-part series on how to configure lane geometry in SIDRA Intersection 7. Please refer to the other tutorials in this series to learn how to configure the lane geometry for a roundabout site and a two-way sign control site.